The rugged image of SUVs and crossovers made them popular, drawing buyers away from minivans. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Nissan's Murano never took the woodsy owl approach, always the fashion model crashing the campfire. In heels, Generation 3 is drawn up differently, but keeps the couture attitude. Nissan's design language is more avant-garde than most. Think about it, Leaf, Juke, Cube and Quest. They have aligned themselves with French automaker Renault. That would explain a lot. Murano's original and spendy look shows the premium brands a thing or two. Floating roofs have been done before, but this flowing bright work is unique. The cowcatcher grill is a bit much. The carpool gang will believe this top of the line platinum model is from Nissan's Infinity division until they spot the logo and unusual trim that's supposed to mimic brushed aluminum, I think. Nissan's familiar 3.5 liter V6 with 260 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque is Murano's only engine. Choose between front and all-wheel drive, Nissan is big on continuously variable transmissions. Simulated gear shifts are done here. There are no paddle shifters. Shedding 145 pounds, Acceleration is satisfying, not neck snapping with seven and a half seconds, zero to 60 runs. Steering is well weighted with that smidge of numbness electric power steering is known for. Toss Murano into a curve and it's well behaved. Some body roll, not too much. I'm on record that I do not care for continuously variable transmissions and their rubbery droning dynamics, but I have got to admit Nissan got it right here. This feels like a regular six-speed gearbox. Murano is available with adaptive cruise control and safety tech like blind spot and collision warning, plus automatic emergency braking. One of my complaints about the outgoing Murano was road noise. That's been taken care of. On a 200-mile road trip, Murano was quiet and comfortable, and I came close to the EPA-rated fuel economy, which doesn't always happen. Good-looking materials make travel more enjoyable. So do the supportive contoured chairs that are heated and cooled. Visibility is quite good in most directions, not so hot rearward, so this camera system comes in handy. Got to appreciate the bird's eye mode and the ability to switch to a forward view. The wheel is warmed, Bose sound is rich, the sky can be appreciated by everyone. Another luxury, the user interface is simple enough to use without studying the owner's manual. Just be careful to pop the fuel door and not the hood. The back seat cushions are on the high side. That means good thigh support and none of that knees up Mother Brown stuff. Head, knee, and leg room are generous. I would like a little bit more wiggle room for my size 11s though. All the stuff that makes passengers feel coddled is here, and just like the front seats, the outboard positions are sculpted well enough for people to take notice. The claim for Murano is best in class cargo area. It looks big enough to stash a third row back here, but if you want one of those with your Nissan crossover, you have to go with Pathfinder. There is quite a bit of space back here. You might not need to haul 11 packs of TP. At least you know you can. Front-wheel drive Muranos begin at $30,400 with destination. This loaded all-wheel drive Platinum model, positioned to run with the Tony brands, retails for $43,700. It does not have the triple Teflon coating feel of, say, a Lexus RX, but Murano pampers its occupants at a much lower cost, uh, without the showy premium badges, of course. It's a significant move up market by a crossover that has always dressed to impress. All of you that follow the automotive world know that this design was first shown as the Nissan Resonance concept. The design stayed remarkably true to the show car. Take a closer look and you'll see that the actual glass line has the same sweep as the outgoing model. The designers just made your eyes go in a different way. It's about the same size, but the 2015 model is slightly lower, wider, and longer. If you're cross-shopping, look at Toyota Venza and Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, plus two vehicles that will soon be new, Ford Edge and Kia Sorento. That's my opinion of the 2015 Nissan Murano. And I've got to say, 
I really appreciate it when automakers take a chance when it comes to design. I think Nissan is going to be rewarded this time. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.